computer graphics, teleprompter, online services, director. I want to come to you with a quick little video explaining some stuff with the uh, Clearcom HelixNet um, boxes that we have here. Um, so you're pretty used already to being able to go on and talk on the production line or just stay on the video room line by hitting these buttons. Um, so each of these channels individually go to um, the respective areas that they say. So production covers everybody. So if you're on, it's kind of like an all talk to the entire production. Mostly everyone has this in their ears in some way. Video room is just the control room. Everything in the control room, if you are in the control room, you should be talking on this line. Uh, cameras, this is more for like a director line and your station might have different names in here, just for clarity. Uh, there's a stage manager channel which goes uh, directly to the stage manager. So if you hit this and you don't have any of these turned on over here, you're only talking to the stage manager. Um, I think most of you guys know that. Um, obviously you have the volume buttons and you have the call buttons. So uh, I think everyone has a good understanding of all these uh, actions and the different things you can do here. But the thing I want to bring up today is we have activated our headphone mix. Um, I've talked to some of you about this uh, very briefly, but if you, I'm gonna turn this on speaker so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about um, in a minute. But we are using these blue radial uh, Dante headphone amps to send a uh, specific feed to each of these uh, three locations. So computer graphics, teleprompter, and the online director position. And what that does is allows us to send a feed that is specific to the location that you're working in. Uh, so right now I'm sitting at the computer graphics station and a feed that we've been requested to have here is uh, a click track and cues so you can hear what the band is hearing in their ears and the cues to help uh, guide you when the next slide's coming up or uh, when the song's ending etc uh, it might help you follow along better and in, in with the with the lyrics on the screen so that is coming down this program knob you can turn the volume up here and you can see as it goes up it turns red and as it goes down it turns green and if you go all the way down to zero when it's all the way green you won't hear it at all um, so I'm going to turn the speaker on so if I press this button here you can see speaker turns on um, and all this does is bring the feed into the speaker so you shouldn't use this during uh, live production but it's helpful if you're uh, doing a video like this uh, so right now I can turn this up and you'll hear the click track. Um, and obviously if I'm not on the speaker mode, this is what you'll hear in your ears. So you can kind of mess with the volume and see where you want it to lay in your mix of calm. You can have a little interlude. It tells you when things are happening based on what the uh, band's hearing. So that might be helpful to you to have. Obviously, if you don't want it, you can press it in, mute it, or you can turn it down all the way and turn it up as you need more or less. Interlude. Yes. In. And what you want to do when you're setting up and getting ready is kind of balance out, okay, how loud do I want this compared to the people in the control room? And if you have any questions day of, you can always come and ask me, and I will totally help you out. I hope you have a great day, and if you have any questions, you can comment in the video below. See you next time.